All right, we're on hole number two of the South Coast Tournament. It is in Tuesday's qualifying round. And let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number two. This is one of those new par threes. And this is the one, <clears throat> I think on this one, I'm going to play with a rocket and a marlin. And in the weekend round, it'll be different because the marlin's only got one side spin. You know, this would be a great hole to bring one of the, the zero power high wind balls, like a, I think it's the Oceana ball and the Santa ball. Those would be great balls to bring on this. And I'm going to put curl to ring. All right, let's go in there and check that out. Let's see how the rocket's working. So we're going to take this bag right here, but I'm going to switch it up. Take your rocket. Rocket! Yeah! I'm going to take a marlin ball. A zero power. I'm trying to pull that red line. I want, I want to give myself as much room as I possibly can for the for the rocket, so that's why I'm using a zero power ball. If they had a negative one power ball, that's what I'd be using right now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so there's Sniper and there's my red line for my rocket. I need to give myself enough room. It's at 1.1 per ring, so it's pretty accurate. We're almost at max backspin. I think last time, so I'm at 1.1 per ring, so three rings is 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to do it just a little shy of three rings. And then last time I put on one ball of curl. And I'm going to put on just a little bit more. Isn't it perfect? We're getting closer. So <clears throat> I pulled the ball up to the ring the last time and I was out about this far so I went just a titch farther that time and I kinda closed the distance so next time I'll pull it just a little bit farther than that that's the problem with curl is is that it's not it's hard to be exactly the same spot as you were the time before but we're dialing that in it is getting closer and man Be curious to see exactly where this ball is going to go. I don't really like bridging that big of a gap over sand on a par three. I mean, there's so many things that can go wrong if you're back in the back trying to hit over a bunch of traps. That was a very nice effort. We're in the same distance and we didn't put any of those traps into play. So I think this is going to be a low percentage hole in one shot hole to begin with. So if we're giving ourselves a shot at it and we're being consistent in that same area, that was max left side spin and all but one back spin. Curl to ring plus half a ball. So on that one, next time I'm going to use a rocket, a marlin, I'm going to do curl to the ring plus a half a ball. And I'm going to do max left hand side spin and all but one of the back spin. All right, that was hole number two. I feel pretty comfortable about that going into the going into the op or the qualifier using that that method. I don't, like I said, I don't think that's a really high percentage hole in one shot. Um, there may be a better one, like what our opponent did, where you get a little bit better roll in there. It might be a little more consistent, but on those par threes, putting all those traps into play, that can be real dangerous. All right, that was hole number two. Thanks for watching.